So a couple years ago, the American Society of Clinical Oncology determined peripheral neuropathy to be one of the most important survivorship issues in all of cancer. So neuropathy is simply inflammation of the nerves, often brought on by some of our chemotherapy drugs. And what it feels like is different for different patients. Some say it feels like their hands fall asleep, like when you're out in the cold or out in the snow. Others say it burns, tingles. Others say it's completely numb where they can't feel what they're trying to touch. The bottom line is this is a problem that can impact quality of life and unfortunately can be completely irreversible. What our group found a few years ago is that African-American women are markedly more likely to experience severe neuropathy. And this has real implications, not only from the standpoint of impacting overall quality of life and well-being, but because of the neuropathy, oftentimes the drugs used to treat the cancer have to be reduced, which has actually resulted in inferior outcomes for breast cancer. So neuropathy can impact both the quality of life and survival. So we felt it really important to try to understand which patients are more likely to get neuropathy. Even though it's more common in African-American women, not all African-American women get neuropathy from chemotherapy. We were able to find some of the differences in our own genetic makeup that seem to predict which patients are more or less likely to get neuropathy. So based on some of this work, we've actually launched a clinical trial to better understand this and to better improve outcomes in the curative setting. The trial is a cooperative group trial named EAZ-171 and will be throughout the entire United States and parts of Africa. In this trial, we will specifically enroll African-American women who are about to receive chemotherapy for breast cancer. And there, we will try to understand whether or not these genetic differences that make us each unique predict which patients are gonna get neuropathy. And equally important, we're gonna try to figure out which drugs will be most safe for each patient.